yo. What it do? Let you get some tonight, baby. Ride with the best. Let you know that. It's been a minute. Now it's time to ride, baby. You know how it go. You know how it is. Uh, I was asked a question to make a video. Uh, I was asked how was it uh, being locked up. I'm not no, uh, I'm not no long timer, whatever they fucking call it. I'm not, uh, somebody that did a whole lot of time. I didn't have to. Uh, well, I'll let you know how it was, I have to do it in parts. So, um, before I get started, man, I wanna let everybody know, uh, even the, the, the kids that are watching, uh, the younger people that's watching, I wanna let you know that ain't nothing glorifying about this shit. Ain't nothing glorifying about nothing I'ma say. Because it's all wasted time. It's all time that you can't get back. You lose rights that you gotta get back. And it gets messy. Uh, you know, uh, it get a little messy, man. Uh, bear with me with the, with my windshield because it's a little humid out here. Rained a little earlier, it's still sprinkling, but it's a little humid. So the windshield might get uh, a little tainted a little bit. You know, I'm trying to keep it uh, as clean as I can for you. It's nighttime anyway, you ain't gonna see too much, but you know, you can see the wall. different things, man. More, one got way more freedom. One got way more freedom than uh, the other. Uh, jail is pretty much 23 and 1, man. You know, jail is pretty much a supermax prison, but worse. Uh, because you got to deal with a lot of people in there. Like, you got to deal with a lot of people in there. Uh, and you can't get away from it. Uh, jail, you might got dorms and uh, you might got cells in jail, but most of the time you lock the fuck in uh, in jail or reduced to your pot. You know, you get to go outside, but that's every shit supposed to be once a day, but sometimes they take that away from me. Uh, jail is jail, man. Jail is when, if you got time, 
Jail is where you're gonna learn what to do and what not to do. First thing I can think of offhand is your mouth. Now your mouth can get you in both of them. You know what I'm saying? Your mouth can be your own worst enemy. In both of them. In jail and in uh, penitentiary. Jail is your worst, I mean, your mouth is your worst enemy. You got mouth, you can get dealt with, man. That's anywhere. You know, if, if you got mouth, it, my, your mouth can get you killed. Your mouth can get you killed on the street. Your mouth is the number one, it's maybe the number one thing in jail. I've been to some jails, I've been to a lot of jails. Portsmouth Regional, uh, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, uh, Hampton, uh, Suffolk, Western Tidewater Regional. Uh, I've been in a lot of jails, man. Uh, Polk County Jail in Florida. I've been in a lot of jails, and by far, Worst jail was definitely Polk County, Florida. But uh, I was only housed there for a probation violation, a change of address, and it was extraditing me from Florida to Virginia. And uh, yeah, everywhere I've been, the mouth get you in some shit. Uh, another thing, all y'all people that's green about going, being locked up. Uh, number two, uh, lace the fucking toilet, man. That's one thing you're gonna learn early in jail. Lace the fucking toilet. You know what I'm saying? With toilet paper. Uh, you know, um, before I get into uh, what my experience is, this is things that I learned. Oh, uh, I had to learn. Uh, being green, you in the you in the street, you never been locked up. You're green. You come in there, you gonna sit your ass right down there on that toilet and take a shit, and that's not what you're supposed to do. Your fucking ass will fall off. Uh, courtesy flush number three. You will get your ass packed out for this shit. You can't just be like you at home smoking a cigarette, chilling and just plopping shit behind you and, you, and, and, and just sitting on top of mountains of shit and waiting to flush it. You don't do that shit locked up. Actually, it'll change your life because if you wanna not know how to blow the bathroom up, you courtesy flush. Drop, you flush. Drop, flush. Drop, flush. That's how you don't blow the fucking bathroom up for all y'all motherfuckers that blow the bathroom up. The courtesy flush and stop sitting on the shit. But that'll definitely get you fucked up. Number three. No gambling. I mean, number four. Is this number four? Yeah. No gambling, man. You know, you might get in there, you might gamble some trades on the game, something like that, because you don't really eat it. Or if you got canteen, you straight. But don't gamble that shit if you're not willing to lose it. Don't gamble that shit if you're not willing. These are lessons that you learn before you go to the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? You learn how to make swole. You learn how to uh, do all of this because you know you, you gearing your mind for doing some time so a lot of the times the streets have to be the streets in jail like you, you really got to disconnect yourself you got to disconnect yourself to the point where oh well if anything happens it happens I can't do nothing about it I can't I can't do shit no four walls will beat your ass in that bitch. That little tiny ass cell, 
will beat your fucking ass, man. It will fuck you up. You heard about what's it, what's out there? It'll fuck you up. You know? That's another one. You know? You gotta learn how to separate the two. You gotta learn how to separate jail and the streets. And that's what you learn it at. You learn it in jail, and then it helps you in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? You learn all this shit in jail, not to spit in the sink. Oh, uh, spit in the toilet. You know what I'm saying? You spit in the toilet. Niggas don't want to smell no spit. You spit in the fucking toilet. I had to learn all this shit. When I first, first went in, I had to learn all this shit. I was green as hell. You know what I'm saying? I was green as hell. I had to learn a lot of shit. I had to learn how to be it, man. I had to learn how to save stuff from different trays and make small with it. I had to make, you know, I had to learn how to do a lot of shit, how to survive. You know, you gotta learn how to survive. You know, you're doing time. I had a lot of people I looked out for, a lot of people that I know that I looked out for that ain't have a fucking clue. Niggas from the street just coming in that I know. Either I had to make sure they were straight with the food, they weren't hungry. Always look out for my niggas, man. You know, I had big bags of canteen in every jail and in every penitentiary. That's word on my mama, that's word on my kids. Nobody never took shit from me without a gun. Here or there. Okay, so uh, my first day, uh, my first experience, um, I was on the news. Uh, I made breaking news. Uh, police fucked me up. Yeah, you know it. They fucked me up. State troopers fucked me up. Uh, slammed my head against the the car. Slammed it against the. The, the car where the window is, uh, they slammed me, they punched me all in the back, they did all that shit, man. So my first, you know, uh, I go into the interrogation room, and they asked me to give a statement, I told them I was hungry. And they took me to the jail. And uh, I got in there, I had some bologna with that 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 was two tone. That had two two tones to that shit. I didn't eat it. I didn't eat that shit. I gave it away. You know, when you first get in there, you ain't gonna eat a motherfucking thing. You ain't gonna eat shit. God forbid. I'm telling y'all this because you know I don't want y'all to you know uh, do no time, but I don't want you to go in green either. So okay. Uh, so I'm sitting in a holding cell, uh, laying on a mat or whatever, uh, bleeding and shit from my knees, my arms, my mouth bleeding. I had blood coming out of my mouth. Uh, I had a knot on my forehead. Uh, you know, hitting that motherfucker. And the first lawyer visit I get uh, is from a public defender uh, or whatever. And the public defender told me that I'm facing 40 years. Now imagine this now. I'm a kid. I'm 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? I just turned 20. Yeah, I'm here. And, uh, you know, police fucked me up because it was hot. And I left them on a, I put them on a high speed chase for a whole hour. They whooped my ass. Even one of them told me, motherfucker, what the fuck you doing making us uh, chase you, motherfucker? It's hot out this bitch and they whooped my ass. And fucking, uh, I got no bond. No bond. My shit was serious. I had malicious wounds. I had fucking robbery. I had all that shit. I had use of fire. I had all that Everything, all the trimmings. And uh, to be funny, 
the high speed chase was only a misdemeanor. Uh, it's, I'm gonna give you a little bit of law. If you're not in custody already, it's a misdemeanor. If you're in custody, you break out of custody, it's a felony. That's why a lot of them motherfuckers be getting shot when they put them in handcuffs and they try to run and they shoot them. Because it's a felony act. That's a felony act that what you're doing. Now you're felony eluded. And on top of that, you assaulted the police officer. So, you know, it is what it is, but, uh, so, you know, they didn't find a gun on me or nothing like that, but, uh, you, all you need is somebody said that you have one. Use of firearms, oh, you can get use of firearms without even them ever catching a gun. All somebody got to say is that you had a gun and that you pointed it at them, and that's you of the firearms right there. Or that you had the gun in your hand and you moved somebody, or you did anything you do with a firearm is um, use of the firearm. Uh, use, you don't, it doesn't have to be, the gun does not have to be recovered. Possession is different. Possession is not intensive law. Possession, I can have a gun underneath the passenger seat in my wife's car or a car that's registered in somebody else's name and I don't wear that gun charge because that's not my car. And they can't make anybody else wear a gun charge if they're not with me. So, you know, they don't know who put that gun in there. You know, so... Possession is not a test of the law. It has to be in plain sight. It has to be in plain sight, and, and, and it has to be in a place where you can, where you have to assess it. Now, jail was some bullshit, man. I can tell you, jail the whole time in jail was some bullshit, because you're dealing with all these personalities, you're dealing with all these people, you can't shut the door and get the fuck away from them, you can't go on the other side of the yard, you can't do none of that shit. Jail, is the worst time that you ever can do. Jail is the worst time that you ever can do. Uh, I mean, it ain't too much to do. You know what I'm saying? What, what am I gonna say? I got in one little, uh, yeah, debating, arguing and debating about shit. Don't break up the religion, don't break up the politics. Shit, hell, sometimes don't break up football. I'm trying to tell you, when you debate and argue, a fight happens, Lord. A fight happens, Lord. Don't touch the fucking TV if you will, if you ain't been in that pod for a long ass time. Don't come in there turning no goddamn TVs or nothing. Don't come in there doing nothing. Don't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't. If you got mouth, keep it to yourself. You know? You follow these rules. Especially in jail, especially if, even if you're a little fur white boy. Now don't get me wrong, I see white boys get their shit taken in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen them not eat. Like I seen little white boys not eat, stitches not eat. I seen all that shit, man. Motherfuckers shake the bars, trying to get the hell out of there. All types of shit. I seen the motherfuckers feed them nothing besides. Longest I seen that was about uh, a week. The motherfucker shit the bars out of that. Man, fuck that. He got here to get the hell out of it. But uh, little white boys don't ever have the front in jail unless they're in like a low pod, a low back, a low custody pod. Then a low custody pod, which then that bitch choke. Motherfuckers in there for child support, uh, you know, cutting the grass wrong, shit like that. You know what I'm that's what that's what they have. To do. Penitentiary is a fucking no-no for you. If you're a little white boy, penitentiary is a fucking no-no for you. In jail, it's all good. You shouldn't be getting fucked in jail. I, you know, I ain't been in those spots where they fucking niggas in jail, man. Like, you, know, you fucking nigga in jail, like, Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus. But I 
don't get me wrong, I ain't gonna say I didn't see it. I said, you know, it's fucked up. It's very rare. But unfortunately, I have seen it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I seen this Aborphrodite one time coming to pop. And motherfuckers going crazy. The bitch got a, a dick and a pussy. You know what I'm saying? They put that motherfucker in the same pod as niggas. And niggas like, yo, that bitch got a pussy. Well, that bitch is still a man. It's still a man. But, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, some people like what they like. You see a lot of niggas, uh, you know, up the road that, you, you know, you'll change your opinion on them. But, you know, in jail, you're supposed to be solid. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Jail was hell because you don't have no freedom. You know, you go out to a wreck and it's like walls. You know, gate, barbed wire, fences. You know, big ass walls, you can't see nothing. Like, it's bullshit. Like, in the regional, uh, we had a uh, basketball court outside. But you can't see over the fucking wall. I mean, no, no, they had an indoor basketball in the region. They had indoor wreck. We're going outside. It's indoor wreck. I ain't none of that doing none of that bullshit to me. Jail is packs. Jail is jail. You know? You got niggas trying to act like they tough. Got motherfuckers staying up all night making all types of noises, you know. You know how that shit go. And that shit, you know, is bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But it flies and shit. It flies. Motherfuckers getting there rapping and shit, banging on the tables and banging on the fucking walls and shit. You gotta sleep with that type of shit. I went to the hole a lot. I went to the hole, you know, uh, shit. I went to the hole a lot of jail. Kept catching charges, kept catching contraband charges, and sleep through count charges, and I'm gonna tell you something that's that's different now. Uh, you can't say shit about your case while you fighting it. When you fighting it, keep your mouth shut. Jail, keep your fucking mouth shut. Mail all your paperwork on, keep your fucking mouth shut. That's what I did. Even though back then, I could talk about my case. But now, you can't do that. So yeah, jail was some bullshit. Part two, penitentiary.